there's a spider! <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> Welcome to our home! <laughs> Hello! Welcome to our house tour, our most requested video on YouTube. Finally, right? <laughs> uh, we bought this house three years ago for a little under 700? 697 it to was, be exact. Yeah, um, it is now worth a little over a million on Zillow yep. due to the crazy housing market. So our house is a, um, it's four bedrooms, three and a half baths. It is, uh, it has four floors, including the rooftop. Um, it has a two car garage, an in-law suite, master, and two kid, two kids rooms. Yeah. Yeah. It has like a little back patio too, where you could do a little barbecue and yeah. All right. Ready? So let's take a look. So I want to show, I guess we'll show them. I want to say first that when we saw the model of this house, it was it was too dark. So the first thing when you come into our house, it's it's so bright. It's like everything is all white. Our furniture, our floor. So it's more. It's a lot of white tones and wooden tones. Uh, as you can see on our right here, this is our this, this is yes, the study, this but we converted study. we converted it into our studio. So this is where Jason films. Put our desk here. Uh, Sati used to be here, but we put our desk here because it was too big for our master bedroom. Heading over to this side, this is the living room slash dining room. This is the least utilized space in our house. This in the dining room is just everything you see here. We basically just copied the model, the way they um, staged this. So this is the living area. Sometimes you sit here. But for the most part, we never really go here. We actually don't even eat in our dining area. This is just for show. <laughs> but um, when we have parties, we uh, we clear this out and we actually put food here. Oh, tell them about yeah. the Queenstown sign. Oh, this is from when we visited New Zealand in Queenstown. Yeah. It's such a, I don't know where to put it though. It's just, it's a well, pretty color. It is. I don't know, we'll just put it there. Yeah. Oh, and how about that fixture? That fixture? This is, um, this is not the original fixture. Jason put this up by himself. Oh, I want to talk about the 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 height of the house. So, oh yeah. Out of all three levels, the second floor, which we're at, has the highest uh, ceilings. It's ten feet tall. Ten feet tall. Yeah. So we have to bring the ladder if we need to bring. You know, if we need to do anything in the ceiling. What, and what about that mirror? About? <laughs> oh, this is like my prized possession. This is. This mirror, we got it for sale. Oh, it was so expensive. It's, it was from Ethan Allen. This, I don't know if we sell this house. I don't know if I, I would leave this here. I would probably take it with me. It was so heavy. We needed three people to put this up. Yeah. And our fake plant, because we can't have real plants, because our cats will eat them. <laughs> this is our, we call this the elevator closet. Um, so when the brownstones, like our house, it has three floors, so it's actually it actually has these closets that are made so that you can put elevators in it. So the shack, the way they they uh, laid it out, it kind of it kind of goes around the stairs. So every floor you can have an elevator closet. And we're gonna look at it. It's even this elevator closet has ten feet ceilings. And so, yeah. Tell them how you just cleaned this. Yeah, it took me forever to clean that. We had so many gifts from you guys that we got for our baby. And that closet was packed. It was filled to the brim. Even our, towards the ceiling. Even our living room was filled. Look and the Lulu. closet. Look at Lulu. That's his favorite spot. Those are happy. <laughs> Moving 
moving over to our family room kitchen. You know what? Actually, this whole entire floor does not have any bedrooms in it. It's all yeah. living area, dining, family room. Family room. There's absolutely no bedrooms here. Yeah. This is all entertainment. Yeah. So this is the only bathroom. It's the half bath in the whole entire floor, the second floor. It's on. This is pretty simple. Hi guys. We got. Uh, we also got hardwood floors here. This is engineered hardwood. Hardwood floors all across. I don't have to show that part. <laughs> all across this this entire floor. So this is the family area. Um, so we spend a lot of time here because first the kitchen's right here, and the TV's here, the couch. Um, so when we were furnishing the house, we couldn't really put a deep couch here because of the way the house is, it's very slim. So we just managed to find this pottery barn couch. And it's pretty cozy, it's just not deep. The model, when we saw the model, it had the couch on that side, it didn't have a TV. But we specifically wanted a TV there. And this is an 85 inch TV. Huge. Look how huge it is. Because um, the ceiling is high up, it's 10 feet, we had to take advantage of that. And Jason wanted an 85 inch TV here. <laughs> I wish I but could get a bigger one. <laughs> we spend a lot of time here. We do. And yeah. we spend a lot of time watching here. We eat in this island. And we mostly eat here. We don't even eat in the dining area. So moving over to the kitchen, uh, like I said, we spend a lot of time here. This is the fridge. Uh, as you can see, our house kind of just have, I want to keep it as minimal as possible. We don't have any like fridge magnets. We don't really have any pictures on the wall. Like even our own pictures, we don't really print it and hang it up. And we're really into photography. But yeah, it's just, I want to We're so keep picky. It, <laughs> I just want to keep it minimal. That's true. Okay, so we got this four door fridge. Okay, okay, I'll show them this. Modelo, which I cannot drink, <laughs> but I can drink coconut juice. We don't even use this feature. Uh, What's that up there? Oh, that's our last names. <laughs> the Chinese. Uh, I do want to say before we bought this house, somebody already had purchased it and put their own touches into it. It's a new construction. And they picked out these dark brown shaker cabinets, which I didn't like. So we actually had to get it professionally painted. So now it's like a cream colored. And then we added these fixtures. They are um, oil rubbed, oil rubbed bronze. What else should I talk about? Our pantry. Yeah. So my mom, is, uh, she came to visit not too long ago and she just reorganized the pantry. So it actually looks organized right now. Doesn't always look like this. And it's not that big, but it's pretty tall and I can fit in it. If we came in early enough to put in our touches in this kitchen, because it is a brand new construction, I would have done the double oven, but the previous buyer already picked these out uh, they picked out the cabinets, but there were a few things that we were able to pick, which is the quartz countertop, the backsplash, the grout, and what else? I think that's about it. That's about it, yeah. We picked out our floors. I like this sink, but I initially wanted a ceramic farmhouse sink, the white one. But now I, I, I like this one But better. it's huge, look at it. Yeah, it's, it's huge. right next to it. It's... Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a perfect size. This range was actually not an upgrade. This came standard. And when we first saw it, we were like, oh, wow. This is standard. That's pretty cool. I would have picked out a different hood, though. But it's, it is what it is. And, mm -hmm. and what's out there? Oh, oh, I want to show them my little no. coffee nook. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm the only coffee <laughs> drinker in the household. So this nook is all mine. Yep. Crazy cat lady. Crazy cat. <laughs> My aunt gave this to me. Um, over this way, we have the... What do we call this? It's a balcony. Oh, it's really small, yeah. but it's, it's still a useful space. It's like a small outdoor yeah. patio. And then it actually has... Come on outside. It's, it's tiny, but it's, you could fit a, a grill here. 
and it has a oh they even it, I didn't even I forgot about that it has an electric hookup and a gas hookup if we were to go grilling. Yep. So we're really? gonna head on over to the first first floor, which is the in law suite. One of the very few parts of the house that has that has carpet is the stairs. So coming down, going to the first floor. Oh, there's a spider! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> this is the mudroom area. <laughs> yeah. So this door is actually our garage. So you come in through here. This is another elevator closet right here. We keep our snowboard, ski, camping gear in here, vacation stuff like our um, flippers. And yep, over this way is the in-law suite. This is the fourth bedroom in the house on the first floor. But we wanted my, my, my mother-in-law to move in with us. So we decided like, oh, we really needed like an extra space for her. So this is one of the biggest room. If I think it's about the same size as our master. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So this it's is- It's actually bigger than our master. Yeah. So this floor is the only floor that has full carpet. Let's show them this nook right here. So this is, we put the playpen here when, um. When my mother-in-law is here, she takes care of Kian. She just kind of puts it there, or puts it right next to her bed. On your, this is the entry. This on the right side is the walk-in closet. Oh, I forgot about this blanket. This is a pretty big closet for her. Yep, come on in. And what about the ceilings here? How tall? Oh, are this ceiling. This is the shortest ceiling in the whole house. It's only eight feet. But it still it doesn't feel crowded. Oh, <laughs> I forgot this. This floor has a dedicated um, entrance to the front of the house and the the street. Can't even open. It. Hold on. There we go. It's so bright. A lot of construction in the front of the house. So yeah, she can come in and out whenever she pleases. She, she has direct access to the street. She actually also has direct access to the garage. So this is all like her private space. Um, our plan here actually oh. is to put in a kitchen on this side. We want to take this, we want to cut this closet down to like half. Yeah. And then put an L-shaped kitchen right here. And Take out all this carpet. I hate carpet. Mm. We're gonna put tiles. Hate it. It stains yeah. easily. I mean, it's gonna be tiles. I don't know if we can well. see that, but easily stains. Okay. And over What's in here there? is her um, the bathroom. When you're in this bathroom, is that it's that's when you really feel that the ceiling is actually eight yeah, feet. Yeah, very short. Yeah, you don't feel that in the other parts of the house. All right. And she has her own. Oh, she only has this. This room only has one window, but it's it's fine because it actually brings in a lot of light and because the walls are white, it doesn't look dark here at all. And she comes here, she sits here and she does like her sewing projects and it's still pretty, it's, it's pretty cozy. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Let's move on. I'm gonna close this door, it's getting hot. Do you wanna do the garage? All right, so you guys are gonna have me uh, toward the garage for you. Do you want me to hold the camera? Yeah, Monica's gonna hold it. It's kind of heavy. All right, this is my favorite part of the house. Let the me garage. put on my slippers. Okay. 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 And I'm gonna put on my slippers. <laughs> this? Ooh, your shoes are pretty. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right, so the profile rack I got from PRX. And the way it works is uh, you mount it against the wall, but it's retractable. So you can actually pull it up, right? Very easy. You can actually do this with one hand. I'll show you one hand, right? So whenever I work out, whenever I want to work out, 
Um, I have a barbell over here. I'll put it on the rack. It's 45 pounds for the barbell. And set it like that. Okay, there you go. I just go ahead and do my bench presses here and get to the next workout where I ended up purchasing this bar here. It's a curling bar because I wanted to work out my arms. And the way that it works is it's adjustable, right? So you see how it's attached to these ends here. I can just lift it like that and it's about 25 pounds in total without the weights added to it. But then if I wanna work out with the weights, I go ahead and put it there. I can readjust the weight on both sides. And this brand is called Power Block. And it's the Pro Series. You can only buy this curling bar with the Pro Series, okay? So now I have extra weight on it. And when I'm done with the curling bar, if I wanna just do um, lifting with just uh, dumbbells, I'll put this aside and I'll work with my dumbbells. Again, they're adjustable, just like the curling bar. And they go all the way up to 90 pounds. You sound like a salesperson. <laughs> I'm just showing you guys this because a lot of my coworkers ask me about this, this weight set, okay? Um, I'm not sponsored by them, but I think it's really cool. Okay, another thing we have here is um, the abs workout machine there that Monica wanted. Hey, she I, never wanted, used it. <laughs> I wanted to use it and then I became pregnant. <laughs> and then I have this television oh. here. This television is about 15 years old. He was still <laughs> a single man when he had that TV. All right, another thing that we did in the garage is we bought this these shelves here oh. so we can organize everything much better. Where's that? Oh man, yeah. I wanted to show them Danica's. Um... Oh yeah, let me <laughs> show it? you Danica's um, English skills. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, right over here. <laughs> I can't even see yeah, it. Yeah, you can. Look up. So we had to label all of these uh, containers and she, Danica helped us label them. I don't know if you can see that right up. here. She put Christmas <laughs> reefs. <laughs> she spelled reefs. R-E-E-F-S. Okay. All right. So now that we see Let's what go. else do we have here? Oh, we have a lot of shoes. So we ended up installing another shoe rack. Um, so we have some shoes here. We have some shoes there. We have some shoes here. As you can see, it's a lot of shoes. Gosh, I'm sweating balls. All right, so up next, we are going all the way to the third floor, which is where our master and our kids' rooms are. So this double door it looks like a closet, but it's actually our little laundry area. We turn on the light. All right, you want to come this way? So we have stackable washing machines and then our cat's little robot. This is where they go potty. It's automatic. What is that? This is their little door that they go in and out from so we don't have to keep these doors open they just go sh -sh -sh. all right heading over to our teenage daughter's room um disclaimer it never looks this clean <laughs> so it's pretty straightforward she only had the bed like in a, a small desk um she recently painted her one side of the wall um green this was her paint choice has, she has all her stuff here, her little record player, her bed, and uh, blackout curtains there. She's like a cave woman. She spends all of her day in here with the blackout curtains. When we open. first, <laughs> when we first moved into this house, because um, there's two rooms that are, are basically identical, um, we were like, which room should she take? But we were like, this room has like a, a bigger closet. And since she's a girl, so I don't like, okay. think you want to show her the closet. Ah! <laughs> it's her just, closet. She's a teenager. There you go. Understand. Um, so it has a bigger closet. It also sits directly right in front in the hallway. It, it's like right in front, <laughs> right in front of our master. So we could kind of visualize her if anything. Check that. They are identical. This is Donica's room and this is Keon's room. This is the nursery, which we recently, yeah, we just recently converted this into a nursery. So come on in. Yep. He has not used this room yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
obviously because he's a baby he sleeps with us and our master but um we thought we could we you know it'd be pretty cute if we actually had a nursery for him when he gets bigger he'll be here and, and um, you didn't like the color initially yeah you know i generally don't like dark colors in our home but this looks really cool it's like a contrasting black and white it's just on that one side and we got this custom name for him this cute little um crib this is his main crib you saw a play uh pack and play downstairs this is main crib he hasn't used this yet but eventually he will so it's pretty minimalistic it's just a crib a glider and um, his closet his room actually has the best views of the entire house it's this is filled with all his stuff yeah. but it's it's big enough to fit his stuff right mm -hmm. yep. all of his stuff all of his outfit right all right and now oh. let's move on to his little bookshelf yeah really cute. let's move on to Over the here. bathroom so it's a full this, bathroom right? this is Danica's bathroom it's also the guest bathroom and it's a pretty decent size this is let's turn this on so double vanity um very minimalistic just a bathroom shower uh shower insert nothing too crazy i like how it has a window over there that if you're showering and if your neighbor is on the rooftop they can see you <laughs> so i'm like Okay, so this is her toilet room, <laughs> which she never usually keeps clean, but yeah, it looks clean now. So this is where I keep all of my vacuum. This is my vacuum stash. So we keep this here because we vacuum every day and we have to vacuum every day because we have cats. So this is the long hallway. You're looking at it from Danica's room, and then down this hallway is our master, and this is the third floor elevator closet. But right now, it is our scrub closet. This is where we keep we keep our scrubs. So you can see how tall this is, and you can feel it. All right, moving. Oh. So here's the grand finale, our master bedroom. Welcome. Oh, did you show them our nest? Every floor has a nest system. Oh, every floor has a nest thermometer. There you go. Come on into our master. Ta-da. Our master right now is staged. It never looks like this. <laughs> well, it never, it it used to look like this before Keon. Yeah. But after Keon, we just have all this stuff here. Do you mm -hmm. want to start with our bed? Yes, let's so, talk about the bed. <laughs> so the bed, um, I do like this bed. Jason hates it. And, but I think. What do you guys yeah, think? I like it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I also want to mention that our, the other parts of our house has more of like a farmhouse vibe this our master has more of a french provincial vibe it has like the the curvy furniture and it's, it looks more antique that's my vanity i bought this from i bought this An from antique the store. antique store so when i when we lived in new york i always wanted the vanity so when i saw this at the antique store i was like this is perfect it kind of matches with our our bed that's why i like our bed and it also matches our TV stand. And then let's talk about the settee. So before the settee was here, this, our, um, our computer table, uh, no, no, our computer desk was here, but it was taking up so much space. So we decided to convert it and put the settee up here. I actually like being here. I sit here during uh, sunset and I breastfeed. It's like my little corners, like my little nook. And over to my left side is Kian's third crib it's a portable <laughs> crib it folds and fits perfectly in this nook over this way is so we have a his and hers closet 
And obviously, I got the bigger closet. So this is Jason's closet, which is like a sliding closet. Do you want to show them your closet? I don't even know if you... Go ahead, you can open it. I don't even know if <laughs> so they can see how little space I actually have compared to you. That's yeah. it. That's my closet. <laughs> it's not that bad. This was... What? There's two sides to it, but yeah, that's about it's, it. It's... Hmm, I, I was going to say, it's about the same size as our Manhattan oh, yeah. closet. But as you can see, my pants are stacked all the way up to the ceiling. You're being so dramatic. It's still it's spacious for a yeah. guy. Okay. So heading over this way is so this is weird. Um, our master bathroom actually does not have a door. So if you shower or, or yeah, if you shower, you have to keep the master bedroom door closed. Otherwise, people will just barge in. <laughs> like our daughter. I e Donica. She always barges in when Jason's showering. <laughs> So, um, do you want to show them the closet, my closet first? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So this closet, this is my closet. It's a walk-in closet. Um, for New York standards, it's pretty big, but compared to, you know, for Kelly standards, it's, it's pretty small. Brie, come on over. This is Kian's stuff. And then go in and maybe I'll just close the door and then you could show the back, the back part. Tell them about how you <laughs> <laughs> This is actually a, a, what, a fifth bedroom in our house. <laughs> because... Jason, Jason sleeps here on the floor. <laughs> yep. I mean, I need it's, some peace and quiet, and this is where I come for my It's cozy. I could go to the first floor, but just in case I need to hear Keon, this is where I sleep. Yeah, it's pretty cozy. I think I'm going to sleep here when I go back to work. This is our master bath. And uh, this area right here, I swear, is the most useless space in the whole entire house because it just doesn't serve any purpose. So heading over this way, this is our master bath. We have a um, double vanity. Um, so there's a few things in here that we actually were able to pick out. We were able to pick out the subway tiles, the fixtures, which is a uh, bronze, we were able to, this is an upgrade, the floor to ceiling tiles. And we, we picked the subway tiles as well. And the color of the grout and the floor. The cabinets were actually a dark color, but I, I just didn't like dark colors. So we got this professionally painted and we changed the fixtures to, uh, to bronze. All right, moving over. So this is a pretty spacious shower, but I never shower here because during the winter time, it's so cold. It feels like you're showering outside. So Jason uses the shower most of the time. Cause I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> and we actually, we rarely use our tub. That's true. Yeah. I think we, I think when was the last time? We used it for the maternity shoot. I think that's it. <laughs> and uh, last part of the master bath is the toilet room. You can get so much privacy because you can close the door. Every time Jason uses his toilet, he, he'll come in, he'll like turn on the exhaust and he'll close the door. And then I, that's when I know he's taking a crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to show them my tabo. So every Filipino household has a tabo. This is mine. Isn't it fancy? <laughs> All right. And then you can walk over this way. You can see. The master bath, it, ha it actually has two like entrances. So you could go through here or you could go through here. <laughs> and it's funny because um, we used to chase the we cats used, we around. We chased our cats around. <laughs> we just go, go around in circles. Oh, okay. Micah. We used to yeah. chase Micah around. So, um, yeah. All right. What else can we discuss? So, yeah, nine foot ceilings. Um, engineer, engineered hardwood floors, tiles in the master bath. Yeah, yes. Let's take a look at the last floor. Oh, I hope it's not hot up there. It is. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is the fourth flight of stairs. It's going to go up the rooftop. It's carpeted right now. And Jason just, is this the dark, is this the brightest? Yes. Go? Well, I think you might be able to 
turn it up right, upstairs. Going up. going up here, it's pretty dark, but once you're out there, oh my God, it's so bright. So stairs up here, oh, I can feel the heat. And then this is kind of like where the landing is. It's engineered hardwood floors here. And let's see how hot it is outside. Oh, it's not bad. All right, here's our rooftop. Oh, it's, it's very bright. Thing. That's good. Yeah. So let's close this door. This is the back. This is the back part of the rooftop. Um, it's pretty empty. So if you um, stand over here, I want to also show them. So this is the back part of the rooftop. And I actually want to put like a garden here. But then I changed my mind because all of our plants die. So I don't know what to put in here. We are not good at maintaining plants at all. But yeah, so you see the back. The back view is of the park and the front view is of like the, the city college. So walking this way, is it too bright? No, I don't think so. stood up and looked on that side you can actually see midtown from here and during 4th of july whenever there's fireworks you get a 360 degree view of the fireworks in the whole neighborhood it's pretty cool talk about this side of the rooftop too so our rooftop is the least finished part of the house yeah. because we plan on putting like a gas oh no well um a grill here there's a gas hookup so we plan on putting on a grill here and then when they did our, when we did our tour when we first bought this house they were like oh you guys have a hot and cold water hookup which i thought it was cool because then you could put a sink here and there's also like what would you call that where you, where the water Oh, uh, the wastewater goes through there. Yeah, he, he mm -hmm. even has that. And he has a uh, outlet. There's a light, and then at night here, it's so pretty. We were planning on putting a projector here so we could watch TV or put a TV up here. So yeah, full view. You see uh, the, all the other brownstones. You can see your neighbor, but you know, your neighbor, our neighbors never come up here. Yeah, they they don't really come up here. But we hardly come up here. There's our shopping center right there. We got Safeway. And you have the pet supply store. We're you gonna have show you like more of a, a whole bunch of other stuff. This, right? Yeah. And there is all of the new construction that I'm going to show you guys in the drone. Not too bad right now. All right, and you can get a you can get a sunburn up here. All right, so that's it for the tour, guys. If you really like this video, maybe you should subscribe to our channel because we talk about what it's like to live the lifestyle of two nurses. Or if you guys want to see the neighborhoods. And yeah, that's right. If you want to see the neighborhood, let us know in the comments. You know, we'll probably drive around for you guys and record yeah. some of the neighborhoods in the area. In? Yeah, let us know what you're interested in. All right, guys. So that's it for today. See you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.